The Taxpayers Protection Alliance helped us follow the curious life of tax dollars. As a taxpayer, um... <laughs> <laughs> the post office, now about $100 billion in the red, puts its faith and more of your tax money into popcorn. Oh, I think it's a joke. I mean, come on. No joke. Futurist Faith Popcorn was paid more than half a million dollars to predict the future of postage stamps. What they should do is employ a realist so they can get out of the financial mess that they're in. The National Institutes of Health, not to be outdone by the post office, spent hundreds of thousands of dollars for a study that found wives should calm down. That's stupid. <laughs> they could calm down if they didn't have to work because they pay so many taxes. What happens to a study like this, it just goes into the dust pile of history. People won't read this. Homeowners in Hawaii found paradise in the USDA as it handed out $500 million in loans. Then there's HUD. It spent about $65 million on tourism ads following Superstorm Sandy. For $9 million, the Army produced a 10-part reality TV series. It's what I expect, but it's what I don't want to see. Workers at the Bureau of Engraving and Printing literally burned $4 million. This was gross incompetence by the people running the printing presses. The FBI's reach now expands to Hollywood. The agency spent more than a million dollars showing movie directors how to properly portray agents. I mean, when's it going to all come stop? Reckless spending continued even through last year's partial government shutdown. Tens of thousands of workers were paid hundreds of millions to do nothing. Even a simple pursuit like gardening costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. The State Department shelled out 700000 for a NATO ambassador's garden. And there you have it, the top tax flops, follies, and fiascos. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.